Hey everybody, welcome back to our Square Drop Camper build. For those who have subscribed, it's good to have the subscribers, commenters, all of that. It's good to have you join us on this journey. And in this video today, we're gonna hang out here for a while and uh, enjoy the moment. We're gonna bond together and share our deepest feelings. <laughs> just, ki just kidding totally kidding. We are today going to work on putting on Phylon on the front of the camper and that's where we're at now. So this is the front and the reason we're going to do that is because I want to get this all complete so I can get these wires out through here and then continue to work on the interior. So that's what's going to happen today. We're going to put on some adhesive on this and on the inside of the Phylon and then place the Phylon and that should be great. Um, this is what I am using. It is 3M Fast Bond water-based contact adhesive. It looks a lot like that. Uh, I ran a test on a scrap piece and it sticks. So once this goes up, um, it'll be there for a while if we do it well. And that is what we're gonna have to see. So. Let's go ahead and get with it. Okay, so we're starting with coating the uh, contact adhesive. I'm just using a like a three inch foam roller that seemed to work on the test run. I went ahead and taped down here so that I don't get it onto where I don't want it. And uh, the idea is just to roll it on fairly thickly. This, uh, the contact stuff is, the adhesive is quite thin. So um, I learned you don't want to put it on too thin but if you get, get it on too thickly, it, it runs. So <clears throat> there's a trick, and if you practice, it's, it's just follow instructions, it works really well. So that said, hopefully it will work well now. The amount of adhesive depends on how porous the material is, so the phylon did, took far less than the uh, birch plywood of course did, but uh, that's all done. Now we got to wait for that to dry and then we'll be back and cross our fingers that we'll uh, put that on correctly. Okay, the adhesive has now had time to dry and uh, we are going to do our best to put the phylon on the camper. I went ahead while we waited for it to dry and I put a straight edge down here. I clamped it to the uh, frame. Um, and the reason I did that was so that I can set the phylon on that straight edge and rest it so I've got it lined up. That way I can use that for an extra set of hands. So that's what's gonna happen there. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, one other thing. Um, we can put little spacers and I have some right here uh, up here to keep the phylon from sticking while we will start on that side and roll it this way. So while we start on that side, we can put these in here to hold that so it doesn't stick. And hopefully that will go on right. So <laughs> here we go. So far that has worked. Uh, the next thing we're supposed to do is roll it. Um, I just stole a kitchen roller from my wife. Don't tell her. Um, but that seemed to work on the practice run. We'll see if it works this time around. And if it breaks, I guess I gotta buy her a new one. The next thing to do is to get a drill and find where that hole is for the wires and then I'll route around there to pull that through. 
and uh, I did leave a little extra phylon on the edges and we'll route though we'll route those edges off as well but uh, I am super pleased with the way it turned out hopefully it'll stick but that looks really good so that's that all right well there it is we let the adhesive cure I went ahead and took a router to the edges and cleaned those up they look really nice and i'm pleased with the way it turned out we're going to call that good for this video thanks for coming along if you haven't already you want to like and subscribe we'd love that if you did that shoot me a comment i appreciate everybody joining and uh, looking forward to the next video where we will be back inside the camper all right thanks for hanging with us take care